Are you okay? Are you comfortable? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Tam şu an fotoğraf yapıyorum Kıvanç. Yeah, very busy. I'm opening a champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I made it to Romania. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Romania. Thank you, thank you. So, okay. welcome. Thank you, thank you. How was your flight? Short. <laughs> uh, I was very sleepy. Uh, I don't know, I wasn't grumpy. Uh, uh, didn't sleep much, but I'm okay now. Thank you. How is the hotel? Everything is okay? Yes, everything is okay. You have all you need in the room. Everything is okay. Everything, you know. I have my health. I have my love. Everything. Uh, <laughs> did you come with your girlfriend? Yes, here? this time I came with my girlfriend. You'll break all the hearts no, in Romania. No, no, that's not true. They know I have a girlfriend. I know you were born in Germany, mm -hmm. and after a while you um, moved with your family in Turkey. Mm -hmm. How was the accommodation there? Well, the first few years were a little difficult. It was tough for me to adapt. You know was a cultural shock. Even though I'm Turkish, it took me some time to get used to Turkey, you know, the lifestyle and everything. But because I loved music so much, I, I, I decided to go to music school in Turkey and that changed my whole life. So learning music, being able to express myself through music helped me to adapt to Turkey faster. And you know, now I love really Istanbul, I love Turkey. Do you live in Istanbul right now? I both live in Istanbul, also in New York. I, I'm all over the place. I travel very much. I go everywhere. When did you start singing? When I was like, you know, this big. <laughs> <laughs> Three years old, four years old, always mumbling, dancing, yeah, since I was a child. Uh, did you study an instrument or only canto? Well, my instrument was my voice, you know, back then, but uh, I had a guitar and and when I was like 10, 12, I had a little keyboard, but mainly singing and dancing. What did you dream of doing when you grew up? Well, I always wanted to, you know, be involved with, uh, with nature and animals and uh, really, before music, there, there was always, you know, that life to me. I wanted to open a zoo, help animals, and you know, help the nature. Did you want to become a vet or something like this? I wanted like to become a vet, yeah. I, know. I wanted to become adventurous, you know. Just travel all over the place in the world and discover, you know, animal world and nature. But no, then I decided that I like music more, you know, and I want to sing. Tell me something about Come Closer. Well, it's just one of my dreams which I had to make come true because I always wanted to be a part of the international music, music scene and I thought I had the potential to do it so I just wanted to try it and I'm really happy that I did it because otherwise I would have regretted it for my whole life <coughs> to me come closer come closer is the combination of east and west uh, in, in such a way which is which is really unique because um, I still kept all the essence of my music, the Turkish elements, the Turkish instruments, uh, and the flavors. It's it's a really unique blend, and I know that some of my fans they're upset because they like my Turkish songs. They are used to the Turkish rhythms and you know the tarbukas and percussions. But as an artist, I guess I felt that. I have to go to a different direction. Tell me something about the songs, the each song in each part. Song. Yes. <laughs> there are 15 songs. <clears throat> it's going to be a long interview. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have all the time in the world <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, there, I, I think the album is like a rainbow, different colors, because every song is different. There's a rock oriental song. There's a hip-hop oriental song. There's some different kind of ballads. This one bad with one guitar in my voice. A hip-hop ballad. Um, there's Aman Aman with Wyclef Sean, you know, with his, with his rap, which is more hip-hop. They're just like that. The first track in the album is like a Michael Jackson track. And because, you know, I was under the influence of all the big artists, I always used to admire, like, Michael Jackson, Sting, Stevie Wonder, uh, George Michael, <coughs> mm, 
So you, you can feel all those artists' influences in my songs in this album. These are your preferred artists? Well, there, there are many others. I like Mozart too, you know, I mean, it's, it's an extreme, but some of the Turkish artists, like Sezan Aksu, you know, um, who wrote the Shikim song, the Kiss Kiss song. She's amazing. Beatles, Elvis Presley. <laughs> um, so you, you can really feel all of their inputs in my album, but I guess I managed to m make it become my own style. So that's why I'm proud of it. It's it's my own music, it's my own style, <coughs> and I guess my fans like it, liking it. But I want them to take their time and you know listen to it and digest it before they judge it. Well, there's so many moments. I mean, for, for example, the Shikadam album. After my first album, when I released the second album, it was a huge success. That album sold millions, and I realized with that album, I made a huge step. And then the English album, when I finally completed it, that was one of the joyous moments in my life. I was like, wow, it's finished, I can believe it. I cried, I was drunk, you know, I was like, <laughs> you know, celebrating it. Yeah, finally. It took me ten years. Ten years did you work for this uh, Come album. Closer? Yes, in, in the meantime I released many Turkish albums, like the Kiss Kiss song album, the Dudu, Karma, but you know, I always kept working on English, English albums. Uh, you told me that your girlfriend is here, but uh, do you remember your first love? Yes. Again, I was like this. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> I started to love really early. <laughs> I was really young. She, I, I mean, I was like four or five. I mean, it was an innocent child li love, but... How many girlfriends did you have? <laughs> in my life? Many. <laughs> I started early. <laughs> oh, he's shy. <laughs> A little bit. <clears throat> well, yes, she was my first love, but if you're asking me about real first love, I don't know. I mean, love is something interesting. I'm still trying to understand it. I mean, falling in love is great, but you know, that doesn't last that much. So, I like to love somebody, you know, and make that love grow. But I don't know. I can be a little macho sometimes, but <laughs> not not like most of the Turkish men, but a <laughs> little bit. What do you think <laughs> about marriage? <clears throat> I don't support it. Why? I don't like the idea of being married. What is that? <laughs> what Why? about the children? I love children, and I want to be a father one day. If I'm going to be a father, then I'll marry. Otherwise, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh. <laughs> she didn't expect a Turkish guy like this. What hobbies do you have? Hobbies? Mm, good question. So many. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I like to. I like water sports. For example, I like to dive. Um, I like to swim. I like to go to the gym and do you know, body weights. You work out a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, now I'm on the tour, and when I'm on tour, I don't work out, but normally five days a week, I go to the gym. I have to keep myself fit and unhealthy. Um, besides, I like to take pictures. I'm into photography lately. I have my camera with me, and now I always take pictures of things. I like to paint. I like to make music in my studio. Um, I like to ride bicycle in the nature. I don't know, a lot of things. Do you miss the most when, when you're away? From home? Mm. My pillow. <laughs> just <it's> scary. <laughs> because, you know, I'm like almost good. <laughs> She's still laughing. <laughs> pillow is important. Come on, people. You know, the pillow is the most uh, private thing, you know. Why don't you take it with you? That's <laughs> <laughs> too big. <laughs> you have a big pillow. How big? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I miss my home, of course, because it's my privacy and my friends. But, but because you know, I mean, I don't really go away for so long. I mean, if I go away for months, I, I miss my girlfriend, of course, my family, my friends. But when I go away for two days, three days, I don't have time to miss. <laughs> I'm so busy. But again, my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did you choose Romania for this tour? Well, because a lot of fans, they, they send us emails and letters and faxes. And 
Uh, we heard that there are a lot of there's a great fan base here. That my my songs are known, that people are listening to it in the radio station. So we thought there's a potential. Tell me something about the idea of the show. The idea of the show is to celebrate our our coming together. You know, this is the first time we're gonna meet. So it's mostly about really music, singing, dancing, and sharing love and music. <laughs> it's not about impressing my fans with big shows and dancers and like you know being snob and. It's about really being intimate and close and sincere, and, you know, friendly. So you're gonna be surprised. What do you hate the most in this world? In this world. I don't like the word hate that much, but let's say I don't like the things I don't like. I don't like, well, it's a cliche, but I don't like war. I don't like uh, that like countries like Romania, Turkey, Bulgaria, all those countries. I don't like that they have to go through so difficult times in the past. It's unfair. There's so many political things behind it and I know that we, we have the power to help each other and to save each other but our needs come first as countries politically so I don't like those things. Uh, I hate, there's one thing I hate, I hate that all the things we're doing to the children in this world. There's so many hungry children, there's so many sick children, and so many children in the war who die, who are homeless, and, s and who, who lost their parents, and we're just watching them and, and not doing anything about it. I want to <coughs> ask you something about your new fragrance. I know that you have a perfume, Tarkan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it came out two years ago, actually. Why a perfume? Why? Because people know that they came to me. They said, do you want to do, do, you want to do it? A, a, campaign, uh, a company came to me and they asked me if I would do it. I said, yes, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> but it's difficult. It's not like music. The fragrance, to, to make a fragrance become really popular is, is really difficult. There's a lot of competition. You think the music is more easily to do? Well, for me, because it's, it's my profession, it's my area, and I, I have control over it. And because my music is different, I'm lucky. 